I want to show you a few simple ways for rotating any type of image in Photoshop or any type of layer in Photoshop. So the person layer right here, I'm going to show you how to rotate that, this text layer here, but we'll start here with a image we just opened in Photoshop. When you open an image, it typically opens up as a background image that is locked. So the first thing I do is I just click on this lock icon to turn this into a layer because now you could actually rotate it. So if you come to image here, and if you go to image rotation, you have a few options, but I'll show you a better way in a second. But for example, if you wanna just flip this image, the 180 rotation takes care of that, or you could do 90 clockwise and counterclockwise. So that's one way to go about it, and it's pretty straightforward. And you could also use this option here, where you could type in an angle. So if you want it like 47 degrees clockwise, you could go ahead and choose an angle like this. Now, when you save this out, you have to save it as a PNG. So it keeps this transparency and this rotation. Okay, so that's one way. But here with these layers, I'll show you a better way to do it. So we'll take this layer. So you just simply click on whatever layer you want to rotate. And instead of going to image, you could come to edit instead. And there's this thing called free transform. There's a keyboard shortcut command T on a Mac or control T on a PC. Basically that creates this box around your subject. And if you could see, if you come up to these corners, you get this arrow like this, right? You don't want to get this arrow because that just resizes. That's not what we want. We want to actually get this rotation. And if you grab and rotate, you could rotate to any angle and you could see it's showing me in degrees of my angle. You could also look up here. You could use this slider right here if you want more precise control or even type in your own rotation in this box. Okay, that gets you the precise rotation that you're looking for if you know the exact number that you want. It's not going to save until you press the check box. So if you press check, now that rotation is complete. Now the same thing with the text layer, I just have to press Command T again. I'm gonna get this control right here for transform and I could rotate this again the same way. Pretty much anything in Photoshop works the same way for rotation with free transform. You could also hold shift on your keyboard and that will limit to 15 degree increments. So if you don't need anything in between, you could just hold shift and that limits you to 15 degrees. If I take off shift from my keyboard, you could see I could go in any type of rotation I want. You could also do the exact same thing with custom shapes or any type of shapes in Photoshop as well. And you could rotate those just like any type of layer. I hope you found this quick tutorial useful and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.